Hi, I'm Jeff Turner. Um, the delivery leader at Northwoods. Um, been doing that for five years now. I had the opportunity this beginning of this year and last year to hire um, some really good candidates and interview some other people. So hopefully this goes over some things maybe not to do. Um, this is a great one. I've actually seen this on plenty of resumes. Uh, maybe not this exact email, but basically just go with something more professional. Um, Gmail is, uh, is a really good place to start. Uh, if you're guilty of this one too, I'm um, sorry, but it's, it's not good for human beings to read your resume when it looks like this. Um, it's great to get through the auto filters and things like that, but uh, human beings hate this, especially if it's first page. Uh, for some of the new folks in technology, uh, I've seen this a lot. So that's a GitHub repo that a lot of people leave college with or a boot camp. Um, just don't put it on your resume if it looks like this. Just, just be honest with yourself. You don't have that much experience. Uh, it can be cultural, but 10-page resumes, if you've been doing the job for five years, are very difficult for human beings to go through as well. There's a lot of history that you have, and I know you're proud of it, um, but try and distill that down to just two. Um, a lot of people work with recruiters. They're usually better at interviewing and resume building than you are. I uh, hate to break it to you. That's their job. That's where they're getting paid their commissions. Listen to their advice. Ask for their advice. Use them as a resource. Seen this one plenty of times as well. You get really excited about something because you saw it on Glassdoor, LinkedIn, whatever. Um, go find that website of, of that company and other things, other reviews. Research them, what they do, what they're passionate about. Same thing, most job descriptions will have a full stack, Docker, uh, Elastic, AWS, Azure. Go learn some of these tools, technologies that they're using and implementing in production um, and learn about them just to speak. Um, show up on time is a huge one. Uh, my time is important, probably more so than yours in this situation, so uh, be respectful. If you can't show up on time at an interview or a phone screen, I can't expect you to do that at work. Showing up prepared is another good one. Uh, if you look disheveled and just roll right out of bed into an interview or a phone screen, something like that, um, I'm not going to take you very seriously because I can't expect you to do that on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I literally had a Skype call with someone's, uh, you know, doing, a, doing an interview, and their bedroom looked like this. Um, if this is what you live in most of your life, I can't imagine what your code looks like, so I don't want to deal with that either. Um, this is not a very common practice, if any of you have ever seen it, um, but I hate this too. I've done phone screens with people and seen resumes that absolutely are not the person that I come to interview with. Um, it better be the same person. Um, ask, ask some good questions. If you don't have any, it's hard to feel like you're motivated and interested in, in other things as well. Uh, we have limited time, usually through interview processes, so have some questions prepared. Um, it doesn't really matter what background you come from. If you're from a dev background, you should know some of these basic key terminologies uh, that exist in the job description and things like that. Same thing if you're a sysadmin, know some development tenants. Um, <laughs> you were born with two ears and one mouth. Let's use those accordingly. Um, this is usually the interviewer's uh, responsibility to ask questions and you give feedback, kind of not the other way around. Um, I've seen this time and time again too, even with, this is probably the most egregious with uh, seasoned or experienced people. Um, they just find the tool that they're most comfortable with and they stay with it for their entire career. Um, branch out, be uncomfortable, it's okay. Same thing here. Um, when you get into source control systems, I've seen a lot of sysadmins and other uh, students that have come at this with just code on their workstation uh, and they're sharing through file shares and things. It's time to drop that. CI CD pipelining tools are huge in the industry right now. They're very important for automation. Um, I don't expect you to be building this stuff and deploying it on your, on your, on your machine. Uh, I can't share that. It's not an inclusive culture, and you can't knowledge transfer that way. You better know how to write a damn test. Um, I don't care if you're in PowerShell all day. Figure it out. Um, it, it, it's 2019. Um, start here. It, if it's not TDD, I don't care. It's something automated. It's not a human being. This is my favorite one right here because I get this all the time. But if you think that security is the responsibility of someone else and it doesn't fall on everybody's shoulders, 
than GTFO, um, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, this is another common one that we see a lot around here, especially in Columbus with on-prem data centers and things um, and huge budgets. Um, but it's time to, again, branch out, get a certification, learn another cloud technology. And that's my time. Thank you.